Ladies and gentlemen, dear listeners of all ages, welcome to a slightly different episode this evening of Shadow Running on Empty for you. What could I possibly mean by that? Well, to start off, I would like to introduce my co secondary you know now that i think about it i don't actually know what like mine and title mine and tyler's actual titles are for on the being on this show but co-hosts co 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 co-hosts but like it's like it's always like easy as the lead host you know and where so are we like the co co hear me out Uh uh-huh we're all hosts yes and we to each other are co-hosts uh-huh that is to say that we're all hosts like, we're, just, we're just one of hosts. It doesn't have to be. We are one of hosts. We, we are the are legion. One. We, we are, are the legion host. of hosts. We are legion. We are we are host and wear many. Jesus, we are so far away from the start here. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. Uh, we have a very fun special episode ready for everybody this evening, and to help set us up for that good funness, I'm actually going to throw us over to Easy here. Secondarily, Easy, how you doing tonight? I'm lead host to co-host, host, host to coast. Host to host, right? coast to toast. Yep, that's I, yeah, the one. Sure. Uh-huh. Make, makes, makes sense, I think. But <laughs> I'm not the one that has to lead tonight. No, no, no. Tonight we actually get to hear some new information. And uh, this is going to be brought to us by none other than our other co-host, host, 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 host. Tyler. Greetings! It is I, the co-host, host, host, who most the boasts, toasts, roasts, ho- floasts. Tastes like roast, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Tastes, shadow running on empty. Tastes like roast. <laughs> mm, Tastes like meaty. meaty. Oh, okay, this is, all right, all uh-huh. right. You know, you, 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 if you're listening to this podcast, you already know how we do this, and we tangent and tangent and tangent. I was thinking about it today, mm. and if we go off our first initials uh, uh, excluding easy and we're just gonna use e in this example um, <laughs> if we line them up eat it's mm-hmm. eat and we're mm-hmm. eating good on that lore you know what i'm saying <laughs> I, yeah. it sounds w- kind of dirty when i say you know you know <clears throat> what a, like we're what, not dirty on this show <laughs> yeah what a conveniently timed spot in which to talk about acronyms tyler because what else are we doing <laughs> oh. this evening well, and I'm going to throw another curveball at y'all. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this is Shadow and Unempty, but more. It is not only Shadow Run and Unempty, it is Critical Hits presents Shadow Run and Unempty, Shadow Run IRL, aka CHPSROESRIRL. Wow. <laughs> Say that five times fast. <laughs> uh, don't tempt me. I will. <laughs> I'm crazy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> But uh, so it, it feels good, ladies and gentlemen. After yes. all this time to see the acronyms be fully embraced, mm. so this is <laughs> this is what I show up weekly for. Yeah, at, at a certain point, S-R-O-E-S-R-I-R-L. We're just gonna all... oh, it almost maybe. sounds like the S O N G song, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need a T-shirt that has the S O R E on the front and it's S R I R L on the back. Can we no? Can we do a T-shirt that is S R O E S R I R L, but in the font that makes it look like a CSI show? Yeah, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Let's do this. Somebody, somebody call somebody. I'm Detective Chambers. I'm from C H P S R O E S R I R L. Special agent the very... of the S R O E S I R L division. And then at the very bottom on the back of the shirt, just goes yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cool. And there's All a right. small explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Explosion.jpg right on the bottom yeah. of the shirt. I love it. All right. And with that, with that gigantic sure. name uh yes. to lead us into this new uh uncharted territory. What are what are we doing in these waters out here, easy, uh Tyler? See, easy. Oh, God see, damn it. See, wow. there it is. Come there on. It is. I, you Woo-hoo. will respect me. I I am the, <laughs> I am the host host the most toast. Today. Sorry, dear the ultimate, dear, of the dear ultimate author- authoritarian with the mostest, Tyler. What are we doing here this <laughs> evening? I hate how much I liked hearing the word authoritarian right before my name, but uh, here we are. This wow. is the new regime. Appar- um, well, apparently, we're back to Russia, and this is our yeah. commissar. We never left, comrade. Um, so. I don't- I don't easy. I don't know if you got the uh, the memo from the military, but Tyler's <laughs> Tyler's in charge now. <laughs> oh, boy. And this is I your last wait. appearance before you know 
you go to the gulag. I don't know how yeah, else to put exactly. this, but uh, I will not suffer cowards. <laughs> we've had a good, we've had a good run, comrade, and uh, this is you know this is where we are. You uh, off to the podcast minds for you. Um, you hey, find at, least, lore. at least I won't be in Siberia. Oh, we'll look for that. look forward to Easy's next piece of content drop. Top ten crazy facts about Shadowrun. <laughs> Whoa! You won't believe what number seven is. You guys are gonna be so excited oh, for God. when you get to Click see now. Easy's, Easy's face in a thumbnail with giant blown up eyes that are also bloodshot for some reason. Because <laughs> he's high. But he's also scared and or crying. <laughs> I don't understand. Is that the not how you cry? Is, when I you cry, know, I'm scared and high and crying. <laughs> and crying all at the same time. Yeah. Oh. Well, I think I drank a, the soup. That's what it a, was. I drank a, the soup. A stay of execution for allow one more me, week to allow keep me. easy from the gulags. <laughs> allow me to take the reins. Yes, please. Of this please, as sir. your as your your commissar. Yep. Your, I'm not going to use other terms. No, nope, anyway. commissar works fair enough. Mm -hmm. Commissar. Mm -hmm. yep. co commissar cozy. Wait. Commissar Ooh, cozy. Rebranding. Coming Ooh, to you soon. Boy. I'm I'm getting you the hat. Oh yeah. man! Can, don't can, can you? <laughs> Can your can your can your official symbol be like a juice box and a pillow crossed like the hammer and circle? <laughs> symbol? We'll, we'll get you like a nice seize bright the red with box. the yeah, with the yellow. Seize the means of juice production. I want seize the means of juice production. I pillows are for the people, comrades. <laughs> I comfort for all. The VIP lounge is just the gulag. Let's. <laughs> it's been that's been the case. Okay, oh we are God. like seven minutes in, and we haven't even explained what's going on here. No, Com we haven't. Commissar Cozy, take the reins. Commissar Cozy, I'm gonna redo this a bit by saying, "Howdy, hey guys, gals, and other pals, ghouls of all ages, welcome to Shadowrun on Empty S R I R L Shadowrun I R L." And what that entails is that I am going to lead us off by talking about, you know, when when we're Talking about this podcast, it feels like we're getting closer and closer and closer to the sixth world if we're not already there. So I figure, and shout out to um, one Dr. Friendship for helping with the research, I was going to present a news story to my fellow hosts with most most. And uh, we were just going to talk about it before possibly leading into the connection to the IRL from, from IRL to Shadowrun. Yes, quite. We're pulling an Uno reverse. Yes, exactly. My trap card is that I am I am leading you into a topic that you will have to <laughs> scramble to find notes for. You know, if anything, it makes perfect sense. I would be uh, heading this because everything's a goddamn nightmare. And, uh, you know, but hey, Saudi Arabia is building a self-sustaining city. That's right. Now, I'm going to take y'all a couple miles mm. across the globe to this little little place known as Saudi Arabia. You might have mm -hmm. heard of it, mm -hmm. up-and-comers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I've heard of it. In the province of, I think it's Tabuk, is currently the construction of what is known as the line. Good start mm -hmm. already. Okay. okay. I'm going to send y'all links to this real quick, because this is a very real website. That okay. does not feel real. Okay. Um, you will watch, there is a, a video that's basically explaining that this is going to be a let me see what is what is the dimensions it's going to be a 34 square kilometer area the dimensions for this oh my it's God. a smart city that's comprised of two like skyscraper sized or tall buildings that are mirrored against each other in a single line and it's a self-containing ecosystem and city yeah i've i've I, I i've heard people talking about this because of the the vegetation stuff like you paint the ve you plant all the vegetation to oxygenate the area and also mm -hmm. for like local ecosystem it yes. helps with that yeah the line prides itself on preserving 95 percent of the nature within neom which i believe is the name of the city the line is just the name of the like uh, smart city like mm -hmm. that there that's a project essentially mm -hmm. but uh essentially good old uh i want to use the proper term here good old saudi prince mohammed bin salman has been a part of uh several very um uh 
prosper sounding ideas. Um, mm-hmm. just, to, just to give you guys a bit of background here. Um, in 2006, there was King Abdullah Economic City, which was an area that was supposed to contain 2 million people in one central area. Think like kind of like Manila in a way, uh-huh. um, except denser. Uh, there's only 4,000 people there now. And that costed uh, Saudi Arabia $100 billion. Um, <laughs> wow. In 2013, there was Jeddah Tower, which oh, yeah. came to be the tallest building in the world of 1,000 meters. <laughs> it or, sure as, did. As I, as I put here, uh, 3,281 freedom units. Thank you. Um, mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let me see. Where, uh, that I was... Re- I, I remember when that one was being built specifically because I remember the news stories about the architects going out and being like, I don't understand why they're trying to build this tower in the middle of the desert mm-hmm. where the wind speeds at the heights that they want to get up to are like hundreds of miles an hour. Like there's no way that you can structurally stabilize that in the middle of a desert. And they, but they keep trying to build it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. Apparently, yeah. it's kind of abandoned now. Um, uh huh. Sure is. Uh, after that, oh, oh that was um, it says here according to Wikipedia, preliminary cost was one point two three billion. So hey, still not still not bad. I will say King Abdullah Economic City is probably the most uh, catastrophic one uh-huh. as far as finances. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Then we have Dubai. What are you, what are you talking about? There's four thousand people living there. Nailed it. You know what? You're so right. <laughs> I, I, you're so right. I like to look at my glass one fifth full. That, yeah, hey, you know that just leaves four fifths room for growth, man. Oh, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. What's this? What he's saying is that there's still room for people to move in. Yeah, you know? invest yeah. today is what I'm saying, guys. Get in on the ground floor. It's never <laughs> too late to get into this thing that started in 2006. You know, make make sure that you exclusively pay for your property using any cryptocurrencies that you still have on hand, and uh, yeah, be part of the solution guys and you know what uh the last one i'm gonna say Mm. uh, speaking of solution but the last one i'm gonna say is the dubai creek tower in 2016 this was not going to be the tallest building in the world but the tallest tower um and it says here tallest supported tower in the world and it's still under construction um what was the price on that one i have so many tabs open oh there it is uh, it's currently on hold, but it is sitting at a good one billion dollars uh, for cost right now. Um, but that's all to build up to the line. The line prides itself on being a self-sustaining ecosystem and city that is. Uh, what is what is the estimation? They want to be able to house. Ah, okay. So they're hoping to get this done by 2030, and this 34 square kilometer building is supposed to house 9 million people, um, though Saudi Arabia has a population of 35.5 million. The idea is that this is supposed to help clear out density from cities, condense it all within one area that doesn't have roads. It operates with three different layers. There's one for work. There's one for one for pedestrians, one for infrastructure, and then one for transportation uh, because they have a upside or not upside down. They have an underground railroad system that is supposed to travel the entire length of the line. It's when you watch the video for this, it seems insane. It prides itself on trying to be the thing that will save humanity essentially by building this thing that's going to span from the red sea into uh the city of tabuk but as it stands right now this mirrored building it also has greenery on the top as we were talking about before Mm -hmm. and that's supposed to build the green energy and it's supposed to be using fossil fuels to develop the uh, electricity, but that's going to be a lot of fossil fuel for one central area. The other thing that when looking into this is it reminded me a lot of the arcology. (laughs) Uh, That was the first thing that came to mind. It's supposed to be, I think, 
it was the first five hundred billion dollar project in Neom, um, which is the organiz or it's the city uh, that Mohammed bin Sal Salman has made this place. And yeah, I was I was gonna <laughs> I wanted to present that and then give you all the, the videos and all that stuff for those at home. You can also see that it is literally a line. The dimensions of it are 110 miles in length, uh, 500 meters or 1,600 feet. Uh, I think it's above sea elevation and a width of 0 0.1 miles. So it's very thin, very, very structurally sound. It's also mirrored. And let me see here. I have a couple things. First off, first off. How would we like to live here? Hard pass. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I I have a very distinct recollection of uh, watching Dread and never being like, man, the mega city <laughs> seems like an awesome place to live. Because th that that's what you're describing to me. But, this is just a mega city, and that sounds awful. But but, but think about it. This place doesn't have roads uh -huh. for car chases, uh -huh. and it's unlike that that big apartment complex that went up. This one goes sideways. Sure does. <laughs> so I I don't see any similarity. Um, oh, that's fair. I, I I feel like you taking into account the fact that it's in one self-contained area and the moment there's any terrorist attack, it's going to be costing billions of dollars, compromising the integrity of the entire city and probably mm -hmm. kill many, mm -hmm. many, 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 many people. Costing people jobs because you can't have the destruction of a residential area without also taking out every uh -huh. other piece of infrastructure within the building. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's, yeah, uh... I think you're being absurd. The real question to ask is what happens in case of a catastrophic fire? <laughs> Yeah, Everyone's because sad. everything's coated in, <laughs> you know, actual vegetation. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and, uh -huh. you know, putting that much vegetation in arguably one of the places in the world what? that probably has the most direct exposure to sunlight, while not also bringing into the fact that this is a double mirrored layered build. Do you guys remember um, the news story about when the London Eye was built? And people were complaining about it because it has a mirrored surface and the mirrored reflections were so hot that they were burning holes into people's cars mm -hmm. because of the sunlight reflection coming oh off of the side God. of that building. Now, that's in London where 80% oh. of the year it is overcast and <laughs> rainy and foggy as shit, dude. Mm -hmm. Put that in the middle of the fucking desert, dude? That's crazy yeah that's actual insanity <laughs> they just wanted a, a cost effective way to make glass i bet they did yeah At so all yeah, times yeah what mm -hmm, they don't what mm -hmm. they don't tell you is that the sides of the building are actually just coated in obsidian but over the course of a hundred years it's going to just you know naturally get wired down by the solar uh by solar energy, which it'll absorb into a useful renewable resource. Guys, stay with me. And eventually, yeah, yeah. we will have a mirrored surface due to years of wear and degradation <laughs> on the sides of our building. Uh, yeah, I, wow. So the idea here, mm -hmm. if, it, if the picture wasn't clear, because mm -hmm. even I had to like look at pictures, mm -hmm. it's two like panels, essentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, two half cities right and there's like a river that runs between them and like yeah. bridges and it's got them. bridge connection but here's the thing yeah. Here, yeah. here here's the thing yeah it doesn't show that there is mirrored surfacing reflecting to the interior part of the city but what that means is that because of that problem alone you will not be able to build anything on the external portions of these cities oh, you yeah. can't you can there's no surrounding area because all of that would be within a hazardous zone of just spontaneously being hit by a fucking death laser from the side of this building one day <laughs> because it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Like, so that in and of itself makes it even more dystopian because it's literally this giant self-sustained economic city in the middle of the desert with nothing around it because nothing else can be there. Now, now That's I feel like terrifying. I feel like we're already starting to get some the line anti propaganda <laughs> against <laughs> our, our fair prince Mohammed bin Salman. Mm -hmm. uh, this is mm -hmm. not a politics podcast. This is all satire. Uh, 
Um, now, now I, let me let me inform you a bit by reading through a bit of this uh, Wikipedia, huh? Mm. Please. Oh, there's a warned. there's a wiki for it. That's oh great. boy, howdy is there, and uh, there's a lot of links, a lot of citations. So buckle up. Uh. The line is a linear smart city under construction in Saudi Arabia in Niam Tabuk province, which is designed to have no cars, streets, or carbon emissions. The 170 kilometer long or 110 mile city is part of Saudi Vision 2030, which Saudi Arabia claims will create around 460,000 jobs and add an estimated $48 billion to the country's GDP. The line is planned to be the first development of a $500 billion project in Neom. The, city, the city's plans anticipate a population of 9 million through Saudi Arabia. Like I said, it's got currently a population of 35.5. And excavation works start along the entire length of the project by October 2022. The last part of this intro says the project has faced criticism over its impact on the environment and the current population of the area, as well as doubts about its technological and economic viability, which we're going to get to. Docker. Yeah. So wait, they're, so wait, they're expecting that of the, what, thir- did you say 37 million population uh, of 35. Saudi Arabia? 35.5 million. 35.5 million population of Saudi Arabia, that 9 million people are going to live in this thing. Yes. That is over a fourth of the population of the entire country mm-hmm. are going to all live in this one economic super city. And apparently there's like incentives. Well, oh, you, you got to think for, they're also yeah. thinking, probably thinking of drawing um, people to immigrate to oh, live here. Like, it's absolutely supposed to be for rich people. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I got that by the aesthetic of the way that it looks. Yeah, yeah, the future. Well, I mean, you just have to think about all of the space that they're not going to need of those 9 million people for all of the people that are going to die building this thing like every other superstructure in Saudi Arabia at this point. It's going to be like the the Wall of China. You know, we're going to build it upon the bones. Sorry if that's too on the nose for listeners, but don't look up FIFA or the World Cup if you like those, if you like that soccer and don't want to learn about ooh, institutionalized ooh, evil, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. That hurts. <laughs> But where are we going to have the World Cup in the line, huh? Oh, man. Oh, where God. else? Where, I don't know. In, where indeed? Uh, one of the things that I feel like we have to just real quick touch on as well, Tyler, uh, because I feel like me and you have a uh, specific <laughs> obligation in this. Fact. Oh, boy. Yep. You know, uh, you know what else is part of the Saudi Arabia 2030 plan? What's that? The WWE's partnership that was made with the exact same prince that you're speaking of, who's in charge of this project as well. Future Hall of Famer, Mohammed bin Salman. Oh my god, I'm so upset by how actually true that's probably going to be. <laughs> I said that sentence as a joke partway, and then halfway through I was like, oh god, it's real. <laughs> and then oh, and then you remembered no. that, f- that uh, you know, former president Donald Trump is a member of the WWE former, Hall of Fame. Form- yeah, thank you. I was going to say former president and and WWE Hall yeah. of Famer. Current indicted, currently indicted former president and WWE Hall of Famer Donald Trump. Sorry, let me get his full title out there, uh, as it should be presented. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But how, yeah, how uh, dare so, you? So how as dare part, you not put his full title out. So as part of this deal, the first live event was in 2018, with the prospect being a partnership deal until 2027 where every year they're going to have a minimum of two pay-per-view events that take place in Saudi Arabia. There has been no actual information put out there in terms of how much money this deal is worth, but the agreed-upon speculatory price is that every show is is costing Saudi Arabia between 50 to $55 million per show. Yeah. So we're talking about a hundred million a year over the course of a ten-year deal. And this is Saudi Arabia paying it. Or... This is Saudi Arabia paying it. Yeah. Oh, I mean that's like chump change for for them building the line. Well, but that's what I'm saying is like there are all of it's these insane. things where like you start to talk about these just ridiculous amounts of money whenever Saudi Arabia is evolved involved where like. It starts to make me question the validity of money as a construct. Like, the fact that they could just throw billions of dollars at these, like, 
supposed super super structure buildings mm-hmm. and all of this shit and then it's just like and we suffered no negative downsides or consequences to it and i'm like what's the point what does this even mean then <laughs> Hey, one time one we just day get we're to continuously right. throw billions of dollars and stuff in Saudi Arabia to create our like, own ruins. Yeah, one day, yeah, one day it'll work. Yeah, no, there's a bunch of just <laughs> abandoned towers and <laughs> whole towns. Oh yeah, my god, I'm not gonna tell Saudi Arabia how to do their business, but I will say that, uh, yeah, like you said, you used the term perfectly when you said money is a construct because, uh, yeah. You know, sometimes it doesn't mean anything. But... That's fair. I mean, you know, Jamal Khashoggi tried to tell Saudi Arabia how to do their business and we all <laughs> saw how that ended up. He's not so. invited. He's not <laughs> to anything. Anyway, um, <laughs> I propose to you the selling point for the line. Okay, sell it to me. You know all what? Right. I've had a lot of disparaging remarks so <laughs> far, Tyler. Yes, yes, Bring yes. it back around, baby. Well, okay, the proposal, I should say, is more of like, no, it's it's I'm you know what? let's just let's just dive the in. checkbook's out. I'm ready to invest. Fantastic. <laughs> so the line is planned to be 110 miles long, preserving 95 percent of the nature within Neom. It will stretch from the Red Sea approximately to the city of Tabuk. It is intended to have nine million residents. Ah, oh here we go. It is intended that it will have nine million residents, resulting in an average population density of 260 thousand people per square kilometer. By comparison, Manila, the world's large, the world world's most densely populated city in 2020, had a density of 44,000 uh, square kilometer. So, huh? Now that now I'm looking at those numbers, one of those is a uh, much bigger. Manila, 44,000. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, just slightly. Uh, uh, Neom, uh, 260,000. Okay, okay. Yeah. We'll get into that. Um. Uh, we did a little bit of math. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> the line consists of two mirrored buildings. Yep, we got that uh, that space. The city is claimed <laughs> claimed the city is claimed to be powered entirely by renewable energy when achieved, although its construction will emit a massive amount of greenhouse gases. <laughs> it will consist of three layers: one on the surface for pedestrians, one underground for infrastructure, and another underground for transportation. And here is the part where you should feel so safe and okay. Artificial intelligence will monitor the city and use predictive and data models to find ways to improve daily life for its citizens. Nope. Nope. What's up? Oh, nope. Wait, but hey, hold on. But Nope. Hard no. Hard no. The, the last part of that is that it'll improve their daily life for their citizens. Oh, residents, yeah, it will. With residents being paid for submitting data to the line. What? <laughs> so you have to inform on yourself? Yeah, so instead of, you know, Google just taking all of your information, now you at least get paid for it? Yeah, exactly. It's already happening. And and, yeah. and again, the artificial intelligence that, mind you, will be running the city mm-hmm. will be uh, adjusting based on, you know, your needs as a citizens. And, you know, should, I don't know, dangers arise, maybe there will be some countermeasures to... To what your AI overlord? No, no, no. I, I just meant to. Um, I, I almost use a bad term, but uh, <laughs> what's the term? Restrain, restrain. Uh, uh no good, no good. Um, no good. Next. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But it's gonna make four hundred sixty thousand jobs, and uh, because there's the economic diversification uh. of being in one. You know, we're we're getting rid of that. We're we're doing the equivalent. <laughs> The modern equivalent of Snowpiercer uh-huh. is yeah. my first bet for uh-huh. this. Yeah. It's like, ah, yeah, we're all equal. And then there's multiple floors. Yeah. And uh-huh. hmm. can't yeah I was going to say, of those 460,000 jobs that are created to construct this thing in the first place, none of those people are going to live in this thing when it's done. So. <laughs> you know think... where they will live, though? Yeah. In the slums that crop up around it. Oh yeah, the ones that don't die in the process in of the making desert. this thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. slums of the desert. Yeah, the mm-hmm. slums of the desert in the shadow of the glass-sided <sighs> infrastructure megacorp building. Yeah, that's actually a great segue. Ah, uh-huh. because mm. the line once again prides <laughs> itself on, in its terms. Let me see. I have to write this down. Um, 
they pride themselves on being in virgin lands. Oh boy, do they? <laughs> and Who you know, wouldn't? it just means we we have yet to conquer it in a way that will best humanity is what they're saying. Now, is the is the crown prince going to make an honest woman out of that desert before he <laughs> uh, you know? No, oh. he's just he's just straight building right away. We're well, just definitely... we're just plowing in, just mm-hmm. straight up raw yeah, dog yeah, yeah, as fast exactly, as possible. Exactly. Straight up excavating. Just straight up drilling for oil, some people would say. Oh my god. Uh speaking of digging stuff up, ah. uh, the the desert in which this is being built is home to uh, a native people. Let me see. What was the name? I keep reading it and then forgetting how to say it, and I'm awful. Let me see. Ah, uh, I, th- I think it's Hawaitot, Hawaitot, Hawaitot. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a native uh, tribe that spans, let me see, spanning across Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and the Sai Peninsula for generations, tracing back to before the founding of the Saudi state in 1932. So there have been uh, quite a few protests against the building of this. Uh, apparently 20,000 tribe members uh, received eviction notices. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta pave the way for that good old progress. Right, gents? So I'm thinking, you know, there are eco-terrorists, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, that we have, uh, I mean, nowadays, and obviously they continue into the, the Shadowrun lore. But when people get evicted from their homeland, pretty sure that's how you get um, <laughs> saboteurs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Like pre- during pretty... the, the construction of this thing, I imagine it's going to be mired with setbacks, and some of those setbacks are going to be people sabotaging it. I mean, <clears throat> I feel like being a panel full of Americans, we're in a unique opportunity to just be able to be like, you know, when it comes to rousting indigenous people from their lands and taking them for yourself. <laughs> fuck them right guys yeah they should learn from us is what what i'm hearing i like i don't you know what's the big deal no that's fucking terror dude i hate this i hate all of this i hate everything yeah about this story. yeah this is this is such big yikes six dude. world okay. closer oh. every day yeah to build the arcology of all things too like we don't even get anything cool out of it we get an inevitable fucking ai cyber nightmare that's gonna happen like it's so it's so upsetting we don't even get anything good out of it man well hey instead of a big pyramid it's gonna be a big wall it's gonna be a big line yeah dude even the architecture we would have gotten in the sixth world is cooler for it man i'd much rather have the big blast pyramid i will s- <laughs> have you have you seen any of the uh um, yeah i i pictures I was, of inside yeah i was watching it looks the... cool like it's like a little like um you know what it, you know what it reminded yeah. me of What's... It, it reminds me of the interior of the facility from control oh yes okay which yeah there's lots doesn't there. which once yeah. again doesn't really inspire a lot of huh? hope <laughs> what? i mean mm. but it, it goes out to the sea all these people could have a view of all the birds and all uh, the birds. only the people that live by the end of the this that yeah. goes into the sea yeah uh-huh. by that everybody else gets to look at desert yeah really interesting desert you know, we we have to cram in what is it two hundred and sixty thousand people per square kilometer so yeah. there's gonna be at least a couple of people that have how side views how are they doing i don't understand the math guys oh the math's not mathing and oh, i need a little bit of math here. <laughs> so i did a little bit of research here and i'm gonna okay I'm gonna pull this one up again uh-huh because there's a there's a coffin <laughs> hotel motel holiday inn uh-huh. That is like the smallest possible living spaces. But essentially, one of the issues is that the project is 26,000 uh, square kilometers, housing 9 million people at 1,000 meters per kilometer. That comes out to 26 million meters. Divided by the 9 million people, it gives you about 2.8 square meters per person. Um, and let me just see here. Eight square. We're doing math, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first. Uh, That comes out to about 30.14 square feet per person. 
So everybody gets a studio apartment is what you're telling me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> come on, guys. Those are for the people living down at the bottom. You're going to get... The pores. You can call gonna, them the pores. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get a, an apartment that's probably... Um, I want to say 20 square feet because they can shave that extra 10 off to use them up higher up in the you know, yeah the exactly floor. the upper areas are going to have larger plate larger areas so yeah absolutely man there's no way that everybody is getting a studio oh apartment oh my god all of this just i uh, yeah yeah we're 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 uh we're uh tracking through mm -hmm. so... uh, you're basically like new york living at this at at this point you know with none like... of the benefits of being in new york like, <laughs> yeah. at least living in new york there are benefits to living there this is awful i haven't heard a single word about there being a bodega in the line you know, that's, yeah, really <laughs> that's the other thing i have to i have to call into question too not Where... not i know weird weird way to segue when we mention bodega but if something fails or something goes wrong, or you like lose power or something, and you're in the middle of this structure, like living in the middle of the structure, you're surrounded on both sides by an expanse of desert for miles. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so you're just supposed to walk down into the underground tunnel area where maybe the train is running and take the train down the street. Uh, yeah, well, so the other idea was that you could walk the entirety of the line in a day. That's not no, true. No That's way. That's a lie. Tyler, you're lying <laughs> to my face no, right no, now. I'm, I'm just saying what the selling points were, uh, my man. Are you, are you the Flash? Are you, uh, yeah. Okay, speaking of the Flash. If right, you have the speed force? Okay, so apparently Maybe. the, the uh, subway system is supposed to travel the entirety of the line in 20 minutes. Uh-huh. Um, and let me see. To go that fast, like, apparently, and this is a, a shout out to a Luxury Locale on YouTube for this. Uh, uh, to travel that distance in 20 minutes, you would have to be going 318 miles per hour. Okay. <laughs> okay. And currently, the fastest speed uh, for the Hyperloop was um, 288 miles per hour. Uh huh. So we're getting there, guys. Someone Bye. is just straight lying about these statistics. <laughs> so what you're telling me is that Saudi Arabia has been sitting on a 30 mile an hour faster best time, and they just haven't even talked about it. Yeah, for... that that is mm -hmm. decades away from proper technology and safety. Procedures. Yeah, the but they they just been sitting have... on it this whole time. Look clearly, what it's going to be for this transit under underground here, because they said it's underground, right? Yeah. Yes. So clearly, it is just a tube full of magnets, and you're going to be fired yeah. like a railgun down the <laughs> yeah. end of this thing. There, in order to, which in begs order... the question of how the hell do you slow down to stop? Uh, there's a big <laughs> pillow at the end of it. Just... <laughs> but that's just going one end to the other. I mean, what if you have to get into the middle? Do you have to walk it? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, you, it you either get one end people. or the other end, and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> it fires yeah, people out of a cannon. <laughs> it's ejecto cedo, cuz you know, I would, I would almost feel more. Oh. I would feel more safe being fired out of a cannon I than was, getting in a tube and being fired down it and I was hoping that say, it stops. I was going to say, in order to get that extra 30 miles an hour to cut down on the wind resistance, it's not even an actual subway. It's literally just like a slab of metal with seats on it. And they put you they put you in like F1 suits with like the visor helmet. And they're like, all right, good luck. And then they just magnet shoot That's that down. That's basically the, the what it looks like when you're traveling in a Hyperloop. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Good, good old Russian ingenuity. All right, you sit in chair. We put you in metal <laughs> tube and we fire you down the track. <laughs> it's okay. Worry. Don't worry. Protective suit will keep you safe. Yeah. Or death. Are... And then you don't worry either way. <laughs> you are like bullet. <laughs> you are you are bullet. Russia's gun. <laughs> Russia's gun. Oh my god. We wish oh. To be Russia's gun. Go to the line. Oh. <laughs> the line is like the line is the most dystopian ass name that they could have possibly given this thing as well. That does not help its cause. This is coming from the same mind that brought us the Oxagon, which is an octagonal city on the sea. That's like a luxury suite. Mm -hmm. um, also, same project. You know, the, 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 the you know is the... is it complete? Uh, no. 
Oh, none, none of these are still um, still in the process. I but, see. You know, we we like to dream. In Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> we like to dream yes, with our Saudi millions Arabia, and millions the land of dollars. Of, the yeah, land yeah, of yeah. dreams. That's yeah, what yeah, it's yeah. known as. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, uh-huh. yes. I've, I've heard that name before. Hey, they you know, if they're doing wrestling there, the dreams are happening, whether we're awake for them or not. <laughs> I also yeah. enjoy this picture mm. of the line with this section of it going into uh, the Red Sea like it dips down. Down. Yeah, it does. And then there's there's another lovely art photo of people diving <laughs> with scuba gear and everything. I'm like, uh, okay. On the top? No, like, oh uh, thank God, <laughs> you are dead. It, it's it looks like it's the section that's supposed to be in the Red Sea where there's part of it submerged, and I guess there's going mm. to be you know um, diving classes yeah. or something of course because I, yeah reasons i mean there's also you know if you want to just do some kayaking you could do that inside of the art college i mean the line mm-hmm. you have because it's got a because it's got a lazy river you guys <laughs> <laughs> okay how long does it take to take the lazy river from one side of the line to the other one that's well it's question. well it's lazy so yeah yeah so it's not going to be the twenty minutes that the uh, that the rail cannon's going to take. I do. hope not. <laughs> uh, I would, uh, with how long this is supposed to be, I would suggest packing a bag. If you, well, here's the thing. Okay, if you can walk it in a day, mm-hmm. and it takes twenty minutes by rail cannon, then <laughs> you have to imagine that the lazy river is going to be somewhere in between because the average movement speed of the lazy river is probably going to be faster than your normal walk speed. So right, I'm well then... gonna go with like nine hours by the Lacey River to hit from mm. one side to the other. That's so uncomfy. And also, <laughs> we're assuming that they're going to have a simulated tide. Uh huh. Yeah, in order to carry you through the Lazy River. Yes. Instead of just keeping it still and tranquil, I guess you want it to be moving. Still water is kind of scary. <laughs> when, when, when you were telling me about the uh, what the what was the name of the floating uh, island resort in the middle of the ocean? Oh, um, the, um, the, o- Oxagon or something like that? Like, the Oxagon? It's, it's like, such a terrible name. It it reminded me of, um, I don't know if either of you guys ever played uh, Resident Evil Revelations, but the inciting incident of the story for that is that there is a floating island uh, city yeah. that is created basically to be this exact type of thing called Terra Grigia, which, by the way, mm, much better uh-huh. name much very better name. name very good name very and, solid uh there ends up being a bow outbreak on the island and so their countermeasure in order to stop it Continue. is the entire island is powered by solar energy and is uh and is basically run and organized via satellite array ai and so uh, somebody takes control of the satellite array and just hammer of dawns the entire island into nothingness <laughs> oh. in order to stop the attack and then that just got me to thinking you know what if that was a similar situation with this crazy island that also will probably be controlled by an ai system and yeah, they're absolutely. like oh some type of horrible outbreak or terrorist attack has taken place on the island destroy the island that's how we keep everybody it's, safe it's right insane to me that this got announced after after a global pandemic oh my god yes dude not oh my god i didn't even think about that too yeah the thought of that many people living in that tiny of an area all Mm -hmm. condensed together Mm -hmm. and the moment there's any ac outage it's a hundred over 100 degrees fahrenheit oh my god that's that's the next question how do you keep it cool oh well that's what all the plants are for easy didn't you see all the plants okay well, okay. yeah, you also need water for all those plants, and this is a no, 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 no. Nah, you nah, dig nah, down nah. deep enough, there's water everywhere. That's what that's, I know about the earth. That's not a thing, especially in the middle of, especially in the middle of the desert. Easy. Also, okay. guys, I have a few other you, um, hang on. design <laughs> questions. No, 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 real uh-huh. quick. No, no, uh-huh. real quick. Because uh-huh. I, do you know what? Do you know what most desert classifications are in terms of actual, uh, you know, type of land mass that it is? Uh, I know that what are you it's saying? not just it's not just <laughs> it's not just sand. Yes, I know that it is not just sand that makes deserts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But also, deserts are always the coldest climates. Yes, when taking that into account. Yes, cold 
during the evenings, yes. Uh huh. Means mm-hmm. the creation of precipitation, which is so the mirrored sides <laughs> are really just giant precipitation uh, collectors. Exactly. So there's going to be mm, people okay. out there that are hired every day to go out with squeegees in the morning <laughs> in order to squeegee off the sides of the line. And that's how we're going to fuel the lazy river, guys. Mm, okay, okay. It all makes is, sense. Is that is oh, that the people that all... live on the bottom? Is they're the squeegee people? Oh yeah, absolutely. That is okay. absolutely the squeegee, squeegee people. <laughs> the cult, the cult of squeegee. <laughs> <laughs> they all sound like a little too wet. <laughs> <laughs> they look like the McPoyles from It's Always Sunny. Like oh they, geez. For some reason, they're just always damp. Welcome. <laughs> there the staff has a giant sponge at the end. <laughs> the sea, like J- Davy Jones. <laughs> oh my god. But yes, Do Tyler... you fear death, <laughs> Do you fear moisture? <laughs> Would you like to postpone judgment? <laughs> But all of this was a discussion of just going, that's how we're going to pay for oh. the easy That's how we're going to supply the easy river. And pay okay. Mm. Yes. okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Th- that is our true goal as a species, a society. No, species. Mm. Okay. So while you're talking about how we're keeping it cool. Yes. The, the, in the anime, in the beautiful, beautiful, very mm-hmm. realistic animation. <laughs> uh-huh. By the way, the mirror glass is a choice. Um, yeah. To be a facade, is. as they say. Okay. All right. Automated efficiency. A year-round temperature microclimate with a what is the term here? Natural ventilation. And the picture here says cool air in, hot air out. No, that's that's not just how that works. Huh? That's what? Not, that's not how that just uh, works. I'll easy send you a as, screenshot. as someone who had to have their AC unit replaced within the last five years, that's how it works. No, no, <laughs> it's, no. It's no, just sir. that easy. <laughs> My mistake. I forgot to hit the easy button. Yeah, see, look at this picture. Cold air, me. cool air in, warm, warm air, air out. out. I, you know, temperate climate. I was, I no, I was no on the fence. One hundred percent renewable energy. No. Whatever the fuck that means. No. My question is, where is the cool air coming from? You're in the middle of the <laughs> Thank desert. You. Thank you. They're that drawing is, that it is in with their future technology, and then the <laughs> hot air just leaves. I don't understand. I love your explanation of, you know, the hot air just decides to leave. I don't uh, know. It's, <laughs> it's like, just, ooh, it's hey, like, brr, it's hey, too cold in here. Hey, first off, everybody <laughs> knows heat rises. Okay, so like jot fire. that one down. <laughs> so you're just going to keep the top open? Yeah, <laughs> this no, is definitely... Really Top is open. Yeah, this is literally just we have a open segment in the middle of the yes. line, and that is where all the hot air leaves. So it's just one centralized open segment. Yes. yes. So yes. what happens with sandstorms that those don't exist? No, 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 no. Too okay. tall. Too tall. Too tall. Yeah. Too <laughs> no, tall. that no. Too tall. That too does, tall. does not compute. Too tall trees can't stand. <laughs> Does not compute, guys. All right, there's a couple other things that don't compute. Sandstorms aren't real, easy. Yeah. I beg to differ. Have you heard? That song is about imagination. Yeah, that is the most that is the most made up song that's ever existed. Yeah. As someone who lives in a state in which we have natural disasters called haboobs, I I can confirm uh, sandstorms are in fact real, and that doesn't make any sense. But do they go? Yeah, they do. Obviously, yeah. But 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 yeah, you walk out to your car in the day in the morning, and you just hear, and you go, "Oh shit, it's a day." Oh god, it's coming! It's getting closer. At least it gives you fair warning. I gotta get inside before the drop. Yeah, exactly. That's how you know it's too late. Once you're once you're in the drop, it's too late. Oh man. But, oh, wow. but 500 meters uh-huh. high. Yeah. Freedom units, please. Oh, I'm, um, I'm 1600 free. feet. Uh huh. Let me see. I'm trying to find where it says how tall it is because it's so tall, guys. guys well, I'm... while while you're working on how tall yeah. it is, here are a couple yeah. of my oh. oh, just weird structural design questions. Yeah. What's up? 
while, uh, while you is... also while you pause at the design question sorry real quick uh -huh. i'm gonna uh -huh. send you guys this picture that was going around that's pretty it's a pretty uh -huh. popular one uh -huh. um in regards to uh one of our most recent haboobs that we had here within the last couple of <laughs> oh, years oh boy oh i remember this just to go ahead and answer that question about uh but how tall wool but how tall does storm that happens here uh, and not in the middle oh, of one of the largest on. deserts in the world. <laughs> uh, I, I again, I feel my, I feel my question is um, validated yeah, by this right here. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I've actually propositioned to the state of Arizona that we uh, officially uh, rename this natural disaster from the Haboob uh, to just call it the Rumble. Mm, yes, <laughs> that, that makes more sense. Mm -hmm. I love it. Also, that's a good one. That's a good one. I want you to ask your question, but let me just okay. let me just add some more science here because I'm a please big do. math guy. Mm, please um, do. The please. elevation for the the line is Ugh. 500 meters, which is 1,600 feet, mm -hmm. <laughs> according to the to the quote unquote woke Google. Mm. A boob, <laughs> a boob. Remember, 500 meters for the line. Mm -hmm. A boob. <laughs> Can reach a height of a thousand meters or three thousand three hundred feet. Oh well, geez, they sound safe. Okay, uh, okay. It goes over it. It goes over it. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler <laughs> I would, I would like to counter that question with a follow-up question, if I may. Would you personally say that the temperature of a boob would be hot or cold? Um. Hot air out, so <laughs> hot. As we know, cool air in, hot air out. Uh -oh. Therefore, <laughs> uh -huh. that 500 extra meters of yeah. sandstorm is not right. going to be able to permeate <laughs> into the line because only cool air in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm Easy? scratching my head Easy? and I'm reaching for my bone club because I'm frightened. Hang, <laughs> Easy? Hang, you hang see on. where you see what you see where I'm coming uh, from, right? I, uh, I I have to throw in an extra thing that you probably forgot about. It's this weird thing called gravity. Gravity <laughs> is uh, a myth, first and foremost. Yeah. God, I knew I could fly. Yeah. Uh. Gra gravity uh is a you know. Laws are constructs, and so you don't have to <laughs> adhere yeah, to yeah. gravity because it's just another one of the man's laws yeah, trying yeah. to keep us down. Literally, yeah. literally this us time down. on the ground. <laughs> the earth is flat, gravity isn't real, snow or dust. What is it? And sandstorms don't exist. Sandstorms don't mm, exist. Okay. Rise okay. up, my bird brethren. It is time for us to take flight. <laughs> retake your power over yeah. gravity's uh, non-existence grab freedom with your talons and fly <laughs> and, and, uh, i was gonna say grab freedom with your talons and call call <laughs> freedom okay easy sorry All right, so here, questions. I, questions yes i have i have, I have two, so many answers for you i'm so happy because i have two very yeah, yeah, glaring yeah, yeah, questions yeah. Okay. i'm very so the, well dis learned. the distance this thing goes right mm -hmm. it says it goes from coastal to mountain to mm. upper valley so does that mean that it's technically on a tilt because it has to go from no. sea level no we're gonna... traveling through the mountain mm. and it sits uh, obviously on top of it and doesn't you know go under it or, or through it to my easy, understanding uh, easy a basic part of infrastructure is everything can be leveled so <laughs> it, we're just I, gonna blow the ground I... all to the same level and just make a clean shot brother I from one coast to the other well that, that would fix your river problem yeah yeah it is the it, so to answer your question the way that they do that is exactly what austin said they're currently leveling sections of the desert hell <laughs> yeah down to the mountains yet um they'll figure that out when they get there i'm sure mm, okay okay um anti-mountain uh the uh, guns will exist by then ah excellent protect us from those terrible <laughs> or, mountains yeah <laughs> the threat those uppity Booming. mountains always <laughs> with their rocks and their high altitudes yeah yeah so we're gonna break that shit down is what i'm saying no one Watch stands higher than the wall exactly i mean line. the line the line Sorry. please the line please it's gonna no, be called I, the wall I, I, <laughs> it, you, you're saying it as if it's gonna it's gonna be a thing yeah you're saying this as if it is gonna be real. it will be look i will totally believe that they'll get the coastal portion like oh. that little part that goes into the ocean and then yeah. somewhat onto land and then nothing else. Yeah, and then turn that into a resort area. 
It'll yes, just be that's like exactly what will happen. Fucking, yeah. yeah, it'll be like a Holiday Inn size. Like that. Yeah. Cars will go. Well, it's going to be the Coastal Hilton branch uh, that is opening in Saudi Arabia. Look forward to that. Coastal Soon. Hilton, the line. Mm, yeah, okay. yeah. Also so... known as the line. Ooh. Ooh. And then we can get, and then we can get, uh, like, awesome you know, ad campaign spots where it's going to be, you know, a bunch mm-hmm. of rich people running around the ocean and they're going to be like, are you ready to walk the line? The line? Oh, my God. So, and then my my yeah. my final question, uh, follow-up uh, question and on just this. So, just so we, we're all clear here, I did answer your question. Yes. 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 Okay, yeah. great, Le- great, great. Level it all, yeah. yeah. Level it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah every, everything's level uh, mountains, if you get it all out of the are, way. Mountains are a suggestion. Yeah, like gravity. Yes, they're they're constructs. More like Clearly, we can than actual rules. Yeah, well, we can I mean, barrel ma- through them. Mountains are no like problem. literally a construct of the earth, though. So like that <laughs> that one that one is we're, kind of valid. Uh, we're but... stretching the yeah, word construct up. so thin. <laughs> oh no, we're translucent. <laughs> we're making the word construct work exactly how we need to in these specific situations. Kind of yes. like. Kind of like I don't know the plans for the line. I don't know. I just... Oh, I thought you were gonna say that we're constructing a construct for the word construct. Oh my god! It's a <laughs> box within a box within a box. Uh, All right. All right. Uh, so question, here's guys, yes. Here's my question. second question. Yes. It it claims on its on its lovely put together website. Good job. Good job, <laughs> them. Hell yeah! Uh, Somebody 40... knows how to use Squarespace. <laughs> yeah. Forty percent of the world less than six hours away by air where in the hell is the airport yeah oh well that's somewhere else no no but then but so then does that mean that they're gonna have to build a secondary underground uh rail cannon in order to get people from the airport to yeah, the line exactly because oh. there's no way because okay i'm glad you brought this up easy because i was actually thinking about this when we were talking about the marriage surfacing situation mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> You can't fly a plane into this thing. <laughs> There's no way. Well, There's well, well. No way. Well, it will explode, uh, it will explode Austin, the plane. Austin, you can fly a plane into it. Yeah, uh, you could fly Ooh. a plane into anything. But <laughs> spicy, yeah. spicy take, but you know. But yeah, no, that I was thinking the exact same thing though. Like you there's no the, there's not gonna be an airport for the line. Yeah, like, exactly. And also, how are they going to transport anybody from anywhere in the world within that type of a time frame? Unless no, we're using maybe. high altitude subsonic jets. Like that which, is literally which we don't use anymore. Not commercially for sure. Con- ah, Concord Concords line. Concords were outlawed or mm-hmm. they discontinued the uh oh, the but the line where does you know, it land you know within the where line easy land? all things are possible is what i'm hearing and is the top just an airstrip and they're just no the top planting... is trees did no, you no, not see the planting more trees, trees? Uh, yes, sand. did you no not sand see cool sand. cool air and hot air out <laughs> <see>? <laughs> the top is all trees <laughs> this makes zero sense Okay, remember you know, how... what's, you know what's messed up? The arcology makes more sense than this. It sure does. And also, yeah, that is equally absurd. Remember the pillow analogy for how the rail cannon stops? Yes. We're just going to put a bunch of those up on the top of the, of the oh. line and okay. aim for them. You just <laughs> aim for no, them, no, you know? no. Just... Clearly, you're, you're wrong. Remember, gravity doesn't exist. All you do true. is fly over it, push people out, they land right inside. That's true. That's they true. They flow down because we can fly. Yeah, yeah, duh. You use gonna... your flight powers. You slow down. You <laughs> drop. You drop okay. in because you're not hot air. So gotta, you know. I gotta say, it's really funny you mentioned the flying thing because in the like animated trailer for it, there's clearly someone who's flying through the the line. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, See, they also shirked the laws of gravity, my brethren. In order for them to be able to uh, to descend uh, as intended into the line, they are going to have to wear like a cold compress pack on their chest, though, because only cool air. <laughs> only in. cool Con air. In. In. <laughs> it draws them into the line. Yeah, it's like a grab. It's like a homing beacon. It's it's like yeah. one of those. One of those refrigerator packs for like a lunchbox. It's exactly. one of those, but you just the, put the, it on your chest and it the pulls pilot you in. cracks open a Diet Coke and it's so cold that the plane crashes. Falls into the line. Jerry, hot coffee only when we're flying over the line. What did I oh, tell God. you? <laughs> it's okay. It'll probably cause minimal damage to this thing that's only one point one meter wide. Uh. Oh.
And if mirrored glass was the an aesthetic choice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Why? Okay. Why aren't you? Needed... Why aren't you doing tempered glass that transitions? You know, when the sun's out, it's like a big sunglass. You know, where it prevents the UV harmful Speaking rays. Sunglass, and I... At night, it opens up into lovely real, vistas. Real quick, real quick for, oh, for talking about glass. Okay. So Philip Oldfield of the University of New South Wales said the quality of life for the line would probably come down to whether the city was well managed, yada, yada. Then they said the project would have a carbon footprint of 1.8 gigatons of CO2 equivalent in glass, steel, and concrete because, quote, you cannot build a 500 meter tall building out of low carbon materials. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And he said uh, the... 170 kilometer profile would create a large scale barrier to adjacent ecosystems and migratory yes. species similar to that created by highways mm -hmm. and the mirrored exterior facade would be dangerous to birds. <laughs> Notably, there will be region facing, <laughs> there will be region facing the irradiation from two suns in one of the already hottest places in the world. <laughs> yeah. So the one person who crosses by that one region <laughs> just evaporates. <laughs> It's oh. why you don't mirror glass in the desert. <laughs> you can tell this is just a giant vanity project. Oh, absolutely. But it's going to change the world. No. This time, well, this time we're going to get it right. Yeah, change the world and the, the oh, marring the landscape and changing weather patterns for the area. And birds. I am <laughs> killing Fuck a birds. lot of migratory birds. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, guys we figured it out it's well they're literally it's just being built because the prince is pissed off at birds well secondarily as we also all know birds aren't real right guys birds all <laughs> birds are cameras so really this is actually going to be the safest place on the planet to live because it's impossible for birds birds with air quotes to exist there <laughs> my god oh my god this is the most ridiculous when you when you casually just also said oh by the way the the fucking reflective surfacing is all cosmetic <laughs> i nearly shit i legit <laughs> i nearly shit dude like <laughs> i what the fuck that. dude why is the beard <laughs> surface the cosmetic choice dude wait hear me out though oh my this god. is how they keep the population in line so when they sent these people to death, they just you hold them march up from the, the line. Spot. You would march from the line, <laughs> and once they get out, like a certain distance, they just instantly. <laughs> are oh my god! Or it's like King Kong, where they strap your arms and legs and just rise you. That's <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> they just put you on a big stick and they just <laughs> stick you out from the tree line. <laughs> and all, all the all the all the while while they're doing it they just keep going cool air in warm air out cool air in warm yeah. air out oh and my then, god you said with, that that's exactly what i was thinking and then oh my god and i just thought of like the term for people who believe that cool air in warm air out and then i was like probably don't want to call them the cool air <laughs> 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 oh my god you can't call in. You can't call anybody a pompous windbag. That'll get you right into the mirrored glass death laser. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 pompous windbag is the name of the regional representative that goes to speak <laughs> to the high council of the line in their monthly meetings. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, oh my god! Oh, I just see so much wrong with this. There's no. It's not even that. It's that there's nothing right with it. That's the bigger <laughs> yeah. problem. Everything about this project is wrong. Every single thing. But nothing is right about it. There's no silver lining to this at all. <laughs> it's just. It's all bad all the way down. As we all take a moment to, uh, you know, process all of the befunctory what the fuckedness that is the line, uh, I think that that is also going to be where we take a quick break here for some Wawa and bathroom breaks as well, and we will be right back with you, magnificent people. 
Hey Chummers, if you're listening to this or watching it on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. If you are listening on Spotify or another podcast streaming service, please rate the episode and share it so we can get it out to the other like-minded Shadowrun individuals. You can also s- subscribe to our Patreon over at patreon.com slash critical underscore hits. Five bucks a month gets you behind the scenes looks. Also, we'll put you in touch to be able to hear those Worm Talk episodes. And finally, you guys, down in the description, you will find an affiliate link for Drive Through RPG. It's got everything that you could possibly need over there new RPGs, new modules, supplements, adventures. Whenever you're going to check out a Drive Through RPG, just drop that in to the affiliate link, and that would help us out in the long run. And with that, I thank you guys very much, and now let's get back to the show. All right, everybody, welcome back to the episode, and now to uh, round out the conversation about the li- the grandness of the line, and to bring it back into uh, what we're all here to talk about in the first place. Uh, Easy, I know that this one's probably going to be a stretch for you, but what would be the comparable Shadowrun equivalent to something that... Ha- holds the grand magnificence of the line well i can only really think of one structure and uncle's on thunderdome oh. Oh. <laughs> oh dang we oh, all went to no. different places oh. we all went different places the answer is of course the renraku arcology where nothing bad has ever happened so definitely I not really? i yeah. believe that i believe that's on a plaque in the lobby of the arcology <laughs> <laughs> no bad things ever they have a big, they have a big uh, uh, count up clock on the side of the wall that says "days since AI overlord takeover," mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> it's up to four now, guys. Everything's <laughs> a okay. So it also is run by an AI that mm-hmm. monitors everything that goes on in the arcology, much like they want to do with the line. Uh, I also have the dimensions for the arcology since we got the dimensions for the line so we can compare and contrast here and don't worry i converted them to freedom units from meters oh you guys are yeah. welcome so i'm going to start by giving them to you in meters because we do have a diverse listening Ooh, crowd i mean uh, yeah <laughs> so technically the arcology is 780 meters by 650 meters and is 969 meters tall. Nice. So to convert that all into freedom units, that means that downtown Seattle at 2nd Avenue, and you can plug this in and see how much of downtown Seattle this actually takes up. uh, Because 2nd Avenue in Seattle is a real place. Mm -hmm. It, It would be... 2,559 feet by 2,133 feet and is 3,179 feet tall. Are they tall enough to avoid a a boop? Well, here's the fun part. They don't have to be. They're completely enclosed. Hmm, but but how does cold air in? <laughs> how does warm air out? <laughs> how does warm air out? <laughs> well, they must have figured out a way. I, I'm don't scared. I don't understand. I don't easy. understand. I don't think that's true. I'm going to need you to double check your facts on this, please. I will give you the facts right here. The arcology is completely self-sufficient, much like the line wants to be. Mm, is... The arcology can grow its own food, purify <laughs> its own water, and dispose of its wastes. And provide everything it needs to its current, at time of writing, 70,000 residents. Oh, yeah? Well, where does the waste go, hmm? Mr. Science Man? Yeah, well, if they only have 70,000 people living there easy, where are they going to put the other 8 million, three, you know, <laughs> 930,000 people? Well, how many people did the wall say it wanted to house? 9 was, million uh, people. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the arcology, as grand it is, as it is, doesn't house nine million people yeah so it sucks is what you're doing <laughs> uh it's planned to house at most ninety-two thousand 
Mm, that doesn't mm. sound like nine million. So... Not even close to nine million. <laughs> you know? Not even close to the two million that King Abdullah Economic City was striving for. Exactly. Facts. So wait, and... how many how many people are living there? Four thousand. No, no, in in the archaeology, oh, uh, currently oh. seventy thousand. So more people than in King. <laughs> Not as many people as were supposed to live in the yeah. King Abdullah project. Mm-hmm. But more people than currently do actually live there. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Correct. Cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Math checks out. Oh my god. Fantastic, right? My favorite. So one of the reasons that the archaeology is more self-sufficient in the the way that they're able to handle this is part of their structure also will stretch off of the coastline but it doesn't dip down into the water the way the line does. Hmm. Uh, They do have basement floors in the arcology. And remember, in one of our previous episodes, we talked about aqua aquacologies. Well, basement floors 16 to 17 are aquaculture areas where Renraku's sea farmers grow fresh and saltwater fish crustaceans and plants for consumption by the arcology's residents and of course there are tours to visit these floors that seems lovely yeah so they have an aquaculture they have indoor farming and and was this like they mainly rely on seafood as it were or well they they also have uh, agriculture floors too Oh, okay. So they just entire, want all the things. Yeah, an entire floor given over basically to horticulture where you know, you, you got a bunch of plants and then a watering system like sprinklers that would tend to them occasionally. Uh, also for your waste question, floors yes. floors basement 13 through 15 is where huge tanks treat oh. all of the arcology's waste for as much recycling as possible. What cannot be recycled is flushed out into Puget Sound, much to the dismay of the city government and the Salish Sheed Council. Oh, it's just ejected out? Yeah, they just flush it out. It dumps it into the ocean. No, no, no. It's into Puget Sound, which is a small bay area. Yeah. That's Still connected not great. to Seattle. Y'all oh, is very not great. Worse, actually, I would yeah. argue. Probably, in yeah. fact, probably worse. Yes. Yeah. I was hoping you were going to say that the waste that they couldn't recycle is what they used for their lazy river, but <laughs> no, no, no. I'm waiting to hear about the lazy river. Yeah, no, they don't. Tell me they the don't have a lazy lazy river because remember what? they're built up like a pyramid. No, mm. yeah. impossible. Yeah, no lazy. You're river. telling me. Waterfall? You're telling me that we can have entire floors dedicated to being, you know, uh, for agriculture and waste mm-hmm. management, mm-hmm. and I can't just have one floor that's a big square lazy river that's the entirety of the floor structure? You know, I imagine there are probably recreational pool areas that you can probably find. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That sounds like a lot of hypotheticals. They were easy. Yeah. Well, I don't I come know to this podcast for facts. The okay. Okay. Yeah. It Make it up. Literally everything. Lie Just to me. Make it <laughs> Lie to my face. <laughs> Look, if you want me to go floor by floor, I've got the answers here. Okay. Well, uh, I don't I mean, are there any that specifically denote luxury swimming complexes uh, of any type? That's all I need to know. Not specifically. No. Mm, well, sounds like I'm living on the line. <laughs> wow. Hey, you know what? You know what the archaeology also has that the line or doesn't have that the line does? Mm-hmm. Mirrored surface. The archaeology is not a mirrored surface. <laughs> oh, that's Shame. just dumb. I mean, if you have the option to, obviously, why would you not? <laughs> Disrupt migratory patterns. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Cause solar pollution. Yeah. Cause solar pollution. Two million, Cause two solar million, pollution. Or what is it? Two suns of irradiation. Yeah, right. The, the power of two, two of Earth's mighty golden sun. <laughs> 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 but think of how much solar that creates, Tyler. The Many solar. solar. Think of the solar. Think of the solar. Hey, maybe that's what they were actually thinking for the line of building solar farms just out where the mirrors would reflect the sunlight into the solar farm. It would have to be, right? Like, that... 
that would have to be like the number one renewable energy source to function this thing, right? Would be solar, and then secondary would probably be like wind turbine. It's just uh, funny. no, no, definitely not wind turbine because cool air in, hot air out. It, oh yeah, shit, you're it right. would be okay, the solar, okay, right? Okay, the solar, wait, and then the squeegee force. Wait, but but what if you built the the wind turbines taller than the line so it was only hot air that was then serving a secondary purpose of leaving by powering the wind turbines to return energy back to the line uh-huh. i feel like we're then running into the same problem of sandstorms ah the, they don't exist easy we talked about this yes, yes. <laughs> that's a myth Everybody knows, everybody knows when they're approaching by the music that they make. Yeah, exactly. Darut hasn't been recorded in the, in the <laughs> deserts of Saudi Arabia for over 300 years. <laughs> uh, there, there has not been any Darut heard in Saudi Arabia since the late 90s, my friend. You have nothing to worry about. It's I but just a love myth. the idea of Sandstorm slowly menacing over the horizon. Dude, mm-hmm. that's- <laughs> so, just oh, like, it, dude okay so like it's like, do, do, like do, 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 what was that did anybody hear that <laughs> but you hear like the and then it's just silence and like yeah. a quiet echo what was that <laughs> like a t-rex is approaching yeah exactly it can't be you just see the you, you see the ripples on the water from the baseline hitting like mm-hmm. i was dude I think we just found the uh, natural disaster. Here, uh, here comes the, here comes the sandstorm party in the had, streets. We had a category nine day rude hit the city <laughs> last night. Tragic. Many there, lives were lost. There have been a massive amount of pacifiers and glow sticks found in the streets, <laughs> recklessly abandoned as people suck were seeking shelter. But, but, but boy, but boy, did that base hit. <laughs> That they could not, in different. fact, handle the drop. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. The bass uh, dropped, um... and so did they. <laughs> so true. <laughs> to the blessed respite of oblivion. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so, the other thing, the arcology has um, 401 elevators. That's oddly specific. Mm, very. Is one is the one elevator the four hundred and first one just like in the center? That's the one that you're not supposed to know about. Yeah, it's probably the secret. It's probably <laughs> yeah, the super secret one. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, definitely the elevator. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely like the CEO elevator, right? Like that's the it has to be right. You go in through the probably. basement after you get after you get off of your uh, <laughs> railgun shot off of your off of your railgun shot. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, that's... you're welcome. You're welcome. Because I'm uh, assuming that. The arcology also implements railgun technology as a means of transport. It's the only way to transport people. It does not. It it's does not. really the only way to travel. Instructions unclear. I don't... Uh, the arcology is also 320 floors. Oh, so it's a vertical railgun is what you're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> no, it goes, it goes by elevators, and then to get inside, you can either drive in because there is a roadway that goes in, uh, or, you can take, or you can take the bus. Or if you want to get to the upper <laughs> floors quicker, you can go via VTOL or helicopter. Now that I think about it, the way it works is you go into an elevator shaft and you hold up a cup of coffee and you <laughs> propel up because uh, only in the line because, because hot air out. Yeah, hot exactly. air out. Yeah, exactly. I think I think I'm getting a grip on this this science uh-huh. thing. See, I was liking to think that for the arcology because it's vertical instead of horizontal. That it was a vertical railgun system, and so when you go to sit in it, they put you in like a Velcro bodysuit, and then once you get like two hundred feet away from the top, it just stops, and the momentum <laughs> launches you off up onto a big Velcro pad oh, above where it just oh, catches you. God. All I can see is people's <laughs> spines shattering into the bottom of their skulls. <laughs> no, no, see, it's a reinforced Velcro suit. It's oh, got, you know, like... Force. It's got, it's got like, like, a neck I don't brace. know, plating and stuff in it. What makes it sound plating like it'll keep you safe? <laughs> no, what, what happens is they give you a shot that makes you all rubbery so you don't rigid up your muscles. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you, oh. you, you stay limp. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you like get shot up. You, you get shot up with a shot. You mm-hmm. get shot up the elevator, and then you're like, "Oh fuck, I forgot something." And then you have to go back down. And it's, you're like, "I was just it's, it's 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 the scene from Wolf of Wall Street with the quaaludes yeah. kick in, where you're just you're trying to get back to your apartment because you need your wallet. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I also <laughs> like. To, it's probably fine. I like to also imagine this scene where at the end, when it stops to launch all of the people up, there's like twelve people all ragdolling in these Velcro bodies <laughs> <laughs> up onto this big Velcro pad, and then they just move it over and lower it down, and people just oh, come God. with like a big spatula and just scrape <sighs> the people off the Velcro. Pad. <laughs> You've arrived at your stop, sir. You'll Sounds regain fine. feeling in your limbs within the next ten minutes. Oh, oh please God. be courteous of the <laughs> ragdolled bodies around you when <laughs> exiting from your safety suit. <laughs> this sounds like Willy Wonka. It's <laughs> the vibe I'm starting to get. Bro, everything in the sixth world sounds like Willy Wonka technology, man. It's all like, why? Mm -hmm. Because it sounds cool. Not because it's efficient or makes sense, <laughs> but it sounds cool. True. Uh, so, any any other fun correlations with uh, the line that you could come up with easy? Uh, there, There is one other one. Uh -huh. With the height of the arcology, where it's 3,000 feet high, Obviously, that's a very large structure in the middle of downtown and would cast a very long shadow. Mm -hmm. And so to combat this during the day, part of the arcology has technology integrated into it that actually reflects what's on the other side of it so that it doesn't create a long shadow that just perpetually keeps a portion of the city in darkness. Okay, so when you say reflects a representation not, of what's not on the other by side a of... mirrored surface, it's okay. not by a mirrored surface. Okay, I appreciate the clarification on that. So by that, does does it just mean like what they change the opacity of the of the windowing to allow for the sunlight to get through without just being? I would imagine that's, that's kind of how it works. So that because putting the sunlight on the other side of it. Because my other thought was it's screen projection, and that just doesn't seem efficient. <laughs> like, because right. because they would they would just be where it's all big screens projecting what's on the other side of the building, but then they mm -hmm. would still have to be manually generating like UV light off of the building <laughs> to compensate the shadowing. So I like to think that it's more that the arcology has like a dimmer switch that somebody can just you know toy with to make sure that everybody gets the proper amount of vitamin D that they need. It's a balanced diet, you know? It that is would, a balanced That would be diet, my yeah. guess. My guess is on dimmer switch. I don't know. Tyler, what do you think? I think that that's the only proper way to do this. Mm. Um, also, RGB. <laughs> yeah. mm. Well, I mean, if it's a, if it's a mirrored, or if it's a, if it's a, like a projected surface and they get to control the UV output, it should definitely mm -hmm. have RGB. Maybe that's like the warning system for when there's an un incoming <laughs> Darud. <laughs> <laughs> when, when there is an approaching Darud in downtown Seattle, you could tell because the Arcology RGB <laughs> starts to pulsate. <laughs> One thing that Seattle doesn't have to worry about, uh, sandstorms. <laughs> hey, every no one is safe from a Darud, my friend. It can strike at any time <laughs> without warning. Is there a way that we can legally put Darude in our title for this episode? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. That is something that everybody that's listening to this is probably going to take away from this particular episode. Like, what is Darude? Oh, <laughs> oh God! Yeah, yeah. No, I'm oh, no. God. I'm hoping that this starts a thing. I want. I want menacing. This is this is the revival, I want, right? Here. I want menacing reels and TikToks, a la the Grimace Shake, but with Darude <laughs> Sandstorm as the hey, soundtrack playing in the background. Back. We, uh, we single-handedly <laughs> are bringing it back. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Remember to uh, hashtag S R O E S R I R L. <laughs> mm. And see, at least the arcology takes into account the idea of being able to fly to it. Yeah. It has landing pads yeah. at various heights all hey, around it. Hey, you know what helps with that? Not having your entire building being engulfed in mirrored surfaces. <laughs> it's crazy. I know. I just. But for cosmetic think purposes, about mm. the facade, how cool it is! Look, it's cool. I get yeah, it. it. It's is. pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It's also really dumb. Huh? <laughs> it's also completely impractical. <laughs> yeah, it's a hundred percent non-viable, but it's pretty cool. Like even even the 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 art artistic renditions that they have on the website yeah. of what the inside should look like mm -hmm. completely 
completely not possible. Oh, what? for the line? Are you talking yeah, about I don't see line? it for the line. I don't Re- see it. Well, remember, easy by crunching the numbers, every person that lives in the line is going to be allotted a 30 square foot <laughs> living space. Yes. So anything that they show you that is a rendition of what the interior uh, like room structure would look like, if it's mm-hmm. not a 30 square foot room, it's just an artist's interpretation. They'll give mm. you the real thing later. Yeah, it's bigger on See, the inside. And that's the other thing to take into account, too. If that's all you're getting in the line, you are getting so much more real estate inside the arcology. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's at least a, a, a what? A two to three bedroom apartment, possibly, that you could get in the arcology. In the arcology? Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy two bedroom. Yeah. Two bedroom, that, two, that's two, two bedroom, one and a half bath. Easy. That's, I will give them yeah. that. They get the half bath in the arcology, dude. That's more than some people can afford right now. <laughs> you get a studio with a half bath in the line, but in the arcology? <laughs> <laughs> It, it's probably communal. People are actually just bathing in the lazy river. Oh, uh, like, no. My you know lazy what? river, no. <laughs> Do you know what people probably would? Oh, yeah. God. It's just It just works, you know? We found that, you know, for infrastructure purposes, it's more convenient if mm-hmm. we just have a communal drop system than give everybody their own bathroom at home. So Gross. You know? Group up for those late night trough outings. <laughs> late night it'll trough be, outings. It'll it'd be like uh, they say out there. It'd be like back in the Renaissance of the Middle Ages. Uh, everybody, make sure you have your bucket, and uh, eventually oh, dude, the, the bucket chamber, brigade will come the, by and the chamber pick up bot, your bucket. Dude. Oh yeah, listen. Everybody gives me shit for the buckets in the in the <laughs> VIP <laughs> lounge in Sidless. In the you wall, would, you're gonna uh, want your buckets. You would be thankful <laughs> to have a bucket on the line, all right? You would you would trade three days worth of squeegee duty for a bucket <laughs> on the line, dude. My, my grandpa was a bucketeer on the line. Bucketeer. <laughs> this is my he great in the lazy river. This is, oh, this is my this is my great grandfather's bucket. It was given to him as a reward for completion of the line. Oh this is God. all we have to our family's name. And it will go to you and that... your son. And the pride. <laughs> <laughs> the pride of the bucket the bucket the pride of, pride. of the line <laughs> the pride of the line the bucketeers i oh. also i also like in in the pictures of the line how they mm-hmm. completely try and downplay the mirrored surface of oh well, look at this picture see it's just reflecting the desert a little yeah. bit there's, there's no problems here it yeah. definitely isn't going to cause horrible uv damage to anybody standing outside yeah, yeah well, e- every outside. every every picture shown is a flat reflective interpretation and not a literal reflective interpretation of mm-hmm. how bright that shit's gonna be when the sun is directly on top of it mm-hmm. <laughs> oh it's there's so a reason good. there's a reason that if you buy like a crystal ball and you put it in your house they tell you to put a cloth over it yeah when not in use uh-huh yeah, yeah. It's well so, that and what? so the demons can't get out but <laughs> also <laughs> for, pe- <what? laughs> for crystal balls like, no, a, like, like if that. you get a crystal ball yeah yeah no i i do not dabble in the balls uh, well if you have a if you have a crystal ball and it's inside your house you have to put a covering over it and it's not just to keep the demons in check. <laughs> Thank you. It's yeah. also to make sure that your house doesn't spontaneously catch fire. Yeah. From the demons. <laughs> well, well, and the solar radiation being generated the sun through is the hyper-focused <laughs> reflective surface. The but the sun is the biggest demon. <laughs> the, it creates space... shadow monsters that chase you. <laughs> the space demon, if you will. <laughs> that you can never escape. You will never escape from the shadow creations of the sun. Run, demon. run. They will always catch you. Mm. What are you trying to outrun more, your fear or the sun? <laughs> One of them you can never outrun. It is the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Also, the weird like outside architecture of how it's kind of blocked. So I guess it's supposed to not be a fully flat surface. Oh, dude, it is MC Escher as fuck on that building <laughs> structure. It seriously dude. is. It's it so reminds weird. me of something out of a video game. Yeah. Again. It looks like the foundation from Control. Like it looks yeah, like yeah. a hyper constructed, sterilized environment. Like it's not great. It's not a great look. It's very uncomfortable. 
but climate wise, cold, cool air in. So it's gonna <laughs> be a dream. Hell yeah, right? brother! It's gonna oh, be hey. a dream. It's I like forgot. walking into an Arctic tundra. Hmm. Uh, I forgot about this video that they put out not even that long ago. Oh boy! Including one American theoretical physicist, Michio Kaku. Mm. oh yeah my boy let's go i love that yeah (laughs) yeah he's uh he is what do they call him the um what is it there's a title it's like the placemakers is what Uh they're calling him Mm -hmm. so that you know credibility yeah yeah listen if he's on board i've seen enough uh history channel specials that he has also been a member of Mm -hmm. to know that he knows what he's talking about oh yeah (laughs) Oh, you guys, I don't know if you saw, but at the end of that uh, website, there's a stay informed about the line. Oh, you can join oh, their mailing I'm list? I'm part of the newsletter, my You friend. can give them the, your first name, your last name, your email address, and your area of interest. Yeah, and then think about that down the line. They're going to pay you for that, but you could give it to them for free now. So... Mm-hmm. Make an informed decision. For the right, nay, the privilege. If you select area of interest, you have the options of business, travel, or live. Business. I, or live. I, yeah, oh it's, it's very sinister. Or live. live. Business, easy, travel, is, or live. Easy. Is there any way that you could use the podcast uh, uh, email address to sign up for the to live interest uh, section? Oh, God. And then just keep us informed on the updates that you guys receive uh, about the line? <laughs> because <laughs> I, I am very intrigued i'm sorry i can't help but think of like <laughs> instead of saying business or pleasure like what are you here for business pleasure or live or live <laughs> huh? so, so i i will make a throwaway email and i'll just make it i'll just call it no way in hell at gmail.com <laughs> the line sucks arcology 2030 at gmail.com <laughs> Uh, Ren, uh, Renraku Arcology. Two <laughs> <laughs> X Sun at Gmail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's the only way. That was the only way you were going to be able to do it. Uh, secretly, this has all just been a death loser attempt construct. That's what it is. I mean, it seems to work. I guess. <laughs> I believe believe in the line, you know. The worst part is definitely the the AI run assisted idea for the line, and that directly mirrors uh, what Rinraku does for the Arcology. <laughs> they need an AI to be able to help with all the day to day because it's such weird. a large structure. Very okay. weird, right? Okay, and we okay. all know how that turned out. <laughs> how how long into the planning process for the line before we get the reveal? Of the totally not evil, but not understanding how on the nose it is acronym for the name of the artificial intelligence system that's going to run the line. <laughs> mm. Very tricky. true. That is real tricky. It's going to be a very charming, nice, sweet name. And then you're going to hear it through terrified whispers when it takes over. Mm-hmm. I'm all for this. Wait, no, I'm not. But, but. You know what? I I 100% bet that they name it something out of their local mythology. Oh. I could see Uh, that. The the line? Yeah. Yeah. The the AI of the line. What what, what their AI acronym would be. I was going to say, because, let me see. Let me define (laughs) this. Because the way that the the name, like, the the line is the name of the project. Yeah, yeah. But Neo, like, Neom, Neom is the name of the city. Mm-hmm. And it comes from the word Neo and uh-huh. M from Mohammed bin Salman. Uh... Very, very clever. Yes, Guys? very, very, <laughs> very original. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Jens, uh, did we I've, have any other things we want to cover for this? I've come up with what oh. I would like to submit as a suggestion for the name for the artificial intelligence management system for the line okay. once it is okay. operational. Okay. Yes, when? I would like for it to be called the Hyper Unmanned Maintenance and Networking System, otherwise known as humans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, humans. What do you think? I am, I, I, you know, 
it's it, it's humans for humans. That's that's really what it's, it's all about. It's by humans for by humans for humans. Humans. <laughs> humans by humans for you. <laughs> you just keep saying the word like that means it's gonna make sense. Humans, 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 humans. Is it by humans like B Y or B Y E humans? Whoa. Well, mm. it starts as B Y, but then after the inevitable takeover <laughs> of the line, <laughs> it becomes the latter. You know, I'd also like to make I like oh. to make a, another correlation. Um, okay. Uh huh. This this one geographically. Okay. From another movie mm. uh, or movie series that has already been out and also deals with the prospect of AI taking over and using us for horrible nefarious purposes. Wow, this is a hell of a connection. By some uh, channel, man. No, uh, the oh. Matrix. Ah, uh, yes. If you watch the Animatrix, the mm. the civilization that the the robots and the ai build for themselves they do it in the quote cradle of humanity which is mm -hmm. in this this uh arabian peninsula area yep. so yep 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 they <sighs> sure do oh mm. don't they though don't mm. they so the ai takes over like... and then suddenly there's the mate i whoa you guys it's almost like it's almost like the fact that the last bastion of human civilization is called zion is almost a little <laughs> on the nose or something i don't know <laughs> crazy i know I'm making so many assumptions and the ones about the lion are so false <laughs> that's true because nothing exists yet so technically all of this is true until proven otherwise Mm. exactly like yeah, gravity it, like gravity like yeah. gravity just believe in it or don't but mostly don't it can't no, hurt yeah, you yeah, please if you don't, don't believe in it <laughs> it can't hurt you if you don't believe in it yeah don't believe in it there you go that's our oh takeaway. uh i do i also do like the photo of the nightlife inside the line where it looks straight out of blade runner <laughs> yeah yeah, I it, like I'm 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 waiting for like the geisha holding up the coke can to come up mm -hmm. on the screen, you know, like yeah. yes, yeah. Oh my god, my god. <laughs> wait. If the inside's also reflective, imagine all the ad space you could fill on those. Oh I yeah. Don't, I don't want to imagine oh, yeah. imagine the, only, the, the Caesar. Thing I kept thinking about Caesar. was the like that as well, but also like the Black Mirror episode where they're all like in a cube or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like they're all Oh, like, and they get on the uh, bikes and the bikes are what yes, they use to yes. power everything. They gamify yeah. everything. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. That could be it. Yes, sir. That could be the way. That is the way that they want this to go. And I think it's all headed in a right direction. With that in mind, gents, do we have any other closing comments, concerns, criticism? No criticisms, but... Uh... <laughs> criticisms? <laughs> We've had no criticisms this entire episode. None. Easy. None oh, God, Not easy, Tyler. I did it again. I'm the worst. God, wow. I did it again. We were so close. We were so close. <laughs> so far. Um, no, I just, this all sounds like a horrible pipe dream of an insane person who's already <laughs> had multiple multi-billion dollar failures in infrastructure, mm -hmm. and, like, I, it's, it's one of those things where, like, I don't even want to just be like, man, I'm excited to see how bad it goes, because I don't want it to get to that point, because people, like, will probably die trying to build this thing. And then nobody's mm -hmm. going to use it, and it's all going to be a terrible waste of everybody's time and resources. And, like, I don't even want it to get to that point, because there's no reason to. This is never going to be good. There's no way that this could do ever want, possibly do we actually work. now on when this eventually gets canned? Oh, I don't even think it's going to get canned is it so much as it's just going to be not talked about at all anymore. Well, but... I was going to say... Because the uh, the creek tower is still technically underway. It's just that it's suspended. Yeah, that's the that's the largest building one, right? Or the uh, the that's the tallest skyscraper. The tallest or, no, skyscraper. no, sorry, sorry, tallest supported tower. Oh, mm -hmm. the tallest supported tower, of course. But the uh, Jetta Tower yes. is the one that's the tallest like building. That one is also still technically being worked on, right? Or is uh, that did that one get fully abandoned? The the thing I heard was it's an abandoned tower at this point. Let me see. Oh, okay, so it's just a 
Dunzo. Construction started. Estimated completion unknown. So, <laughs> so, saying, so you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. So you're saying that there is always a chance because it, it will never not be uh not completed in time. Schrodinger's tower. Y- yes, yes. It is both being built and also completed at the same time. I am both built and completed. <laughs> yeah, no, I just uh everything about this sounds terrible and like a nightmare. And um I give it two more years before two years, we okay. don't uh before it disappears and we never hear about it again okay, because okay. if if all of this is supposed to be part of the 2030 initiative and he's still talking about it after 2025 yeah that's that's a terrifying prospect I, I should because also, also mention... there's no way that any of this can be built within the next seven years there's no way that this well, that this construction is completed within seven years you see uh-huh let me see here. Uh huh. Because the the line, yeah, is not the only thing being built right now. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, let me see. If you go on the website on for Neom, there uh-huh. is Sindala, which is an island, a luxury island destin destination in the Red Sea. There is the Oxagon, which is the right. advanced cl- and clean industries, kind of on the beach. And then there's Trojena, which is the mountains of Neom, the city. And um, they're trying to get it up and running for the 2027 uh, 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 Olymp- uh, sports thing. World Cup? Uh, Olympics? W- Winter Olympics? Uh. Oh, God. Why are we still having the Winter Olympics in desert? I don't. Because cool it. air it in, cool hot air, air out. In. Yeah. I get it. Okay. Mountains are snow Never mountains mind you talk me back into very, it. Very low. Yeah, let's let's all not pay attention to when they had it in Russia and they had to literally import snow because there wasn't enough snow on the ground for people to compete in the sports that they were supposed to compete for. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> USA. USA, USA, USA. USA. Well, wait, what's the Saudi Arabia chance? You know, I, I don't, I no, don't because even because we get... would, you, Tyler. Are you trying to tell me that you're not going to vote for the USA in the Olympics? Come on now, this is just. Oh yeah, this is true. This is true. As a matter of national pride here. Yes, and and you know, speaking of pride, this has been a proud achievement, a, <laughs> a jewel in the crown, a crown jewel, if you will, mm-hmm. of this podcast. I, I believe that we will be exploring further nightmarish possibly entertaining Mm -hmm. um topics in the future do y'all have any closing Uh, comments i have one one closing thing i do have one closing thing because you it it jumped out to me and i had to know so someone can probably crunch the numbers for us when you listen to this because i didn't do it like super quickly here but uh when we were talking about how long it's going to take to build I wanted to compare that to a structure that also is kind of a line and took a very long time to build, and that is the Great Wall of China. Now, the yeah. Great Wall it took uh, took them over two thousand years to build. Oh, because it's it's over thirteen thousand miles. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let's take into account here that that is not as ambitious. That the line is yeah. not as ambitiously the, long. The line, the, Wall of China. the line will only be a hundred and five miles. Okay. 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 So if it takes two thousand plus years to build this you know what? structure, round it, round 13, it to two thousand. Ra- round it to two thousand years just to make it nice and clean. Sure. Two thousand years to build something that's thirteen thousand miles long. Mm-hmm. This is only a hundred and five. That's like a fraction. Mm-hmm. So clearly, and with modern technology now. Clearly, it should only take them, uh, you know, like uh, 50-ish years to to build that. Yeah, but I don't know if you heard when Tyler said that this oh, is no, I, the I, 2030 I did. initiative. The 2030 so... initiative. I'm just... Um, the future is now. I'm pretty sure that your math is off easy because 2030 is only seven years away. Well, you know, I'm Same. pretty sure my guesstimation is probably right. Mm, but it, it, uh, I, I dare to dream too. I mean, if you got the entire population to work on it, then maybe seven years is, is a good idea. And then we get the mortar from their bones. Woo! Oh, yes. Guys. Well, that's what the foundation is built on. Yeah. What do you think chance. is at the bottom of the lazy river? Oh my god. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's just the catacombs of the line. Man, 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 man. What, do you, what do you think the railgun tunnel is built out of? Oh my uh, god. And with that beautiful, dark, nightmarish, <laughs> I, I say again, beautiful imagery that the, the river lined with bones is amazing. <laughs> I think we're going to wrap this one up. This has been Shadow Running on Empty. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Critical Hits presents Shadow Running on Empty, Shadow Run IRL, C A H P S R O E S R I R L. And <laughs> in the sixth world, we have traveled far and wide and found strange stories, brought them to our modern day acclamations. But in this podcast, life is sometimes stranger than science fiction. Goodbye. The Tops Company Inc. has sole ownership of the names, logo, artwork, marks, photographs, sound, audio, video, and or any proprietary materials used in connection with the game Shadowrun. The Tops Company Inc. has granted permission to Critical Hits to use such names, logos, artwork, photographs, sound, audio, video, and or any proprietary materials for promotional and informational purposes on its website, but does not endorse and is not affiliated with Critical Hits in any official capacity whatsoever.